when we're talking about nutrition, let's break some of the prejudices that a lot of people have. Let's look at coffee and tea. For one, coffee consumption, particularly when we're talking about cardiovascular risk factors, according to the European Journal of Epidemiology, coffee consumption is associated with a decreased risk of mortality from all cause cardiovascular disease and cancer. Amazing. But make sure when we're talking about coffee, we're looking at organic coffee made with fresh filtered water. It actually has a beneficial effect. Drinking coffee habitually following a, an acute myocardial infarction was associated with reduced risk of mortality. According to the American Journal of Epidemiology, there's an inverse association with all-cause cardiovascular mortality associated with coffee consumption. That means the more coffee you drink, the healthier you are. Now let's look at green tea. Now green tea is actually amazing. It's a powerful antioxidant. The journals support that. Quote, green tea consumption is associated with reduced mortality due to all causes due to cardiovascular disease. Significant reduced risk of death from all cause cardiovascular disease and cancer. Green tea consumption was significantly inversely associated with cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality, whereas black tea consumption was significantly inversely associated with all cancer and all cause mortality. Amazing. So it turns out that coffee and tea, now remember, this is organic tea fresh filtered water on, on a regular basis actually has a massive beneficial effect. Cardiovascular disease as well as a number of different processes in the body. The reason I'm bringing up coffee and tea consumption, I, it, just like everything, some people will say, oh, too much water is harmful. That's true, five gallons of water and you will die. So use this in moderation, but with knowledge that drinking a few cups of coffee or green tea, organic every day, has a beneficial effect. This isn't a free pass to say, oh cool, multiple pots a day will be beneficial. No, you've got to do this in moderation. But in moderation, it has a phenomenal beneficial effect. When you're talking heart health, you've got to talk about water. 50% of your body weight in ounces a day is a minimal amount, but it's got to be healthy water. Now there's a couple of great filters out there and they all have similar properties. Uh, what you wanna do, you gotta take water that comes out of the tap and you gotta remove the chlorine, you gotta remove the fluoride, you can remove the chemicals because there's a tremendous amount of chemicals in our water system. And the best way to do that is reverse osmosis. However, reverse osmosis removes the minerals too. So make sure if you have a system like that, make sure you have something to add in the minerals. Also, Dalton filter is excellent. That's a two or three stage filter that removes it. Phenomenal. At home, I've got the Berkey filter, which I love because the key is what you've got to do, you've got to turn tap water into drinkable water. Now, this is a two stage filter. Phenomenal. It's a drip system. So it takes a while for the water to funnel through this. But when you're talking about blood and blood health, What's the best blood thinner out there? I'm telling you right now, it's water.